Nation's largest formula factory is back open. Abbott Nutrition began production at its plant in Sturgis, Michigan this weekend. You may recall it shut down in February because of contamination. That prompted a massive baby formula recall and contributed to a nationwide shortage with store shelves sitting empty in many, many parts of the country. And while the focus of this issue so far has been concerns about supply, a local family wants to shine a light on another issue, the high cost of specialized formula. And the shortage has been dire for children with allergies, digestive problems, and metabolic disorders. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt is in our studios with a look at how this is affecting them. Rose? Well, Kelsey, a mom from Mendota Heights tells me Abbott Nutrition does not make her daughter's formula, but her baby is one of thousands who requires a special kind due to a lifelong disorder. <laughs> Not even two years old yet, and little Lottie is on the move and a bundle of joy. She is thriving. You know, she's vibrant and smart and strong-willed and a voracious reader. Her mom, Emily Pratt, glows with pride as she talks about her beautiful 19-month-old. And she wants to continue to see Lottie thrive. It's absolutely vital for her to have protein to hit all of her milestones, and so... Um, this is really a life-sustaining formula for her. Lottie was born with tyrosinemia type 1, a rare metabolic genetic disorder that means she can't eat most high-protein foods. So she needs this special powder made by the company Nutricia. But highly specialized formula comes at a high cost. Last year, my husband and I were paying $800 a month for her formula, which is you know, not realistic or manageable for most American families. As Emily watches other parents struggle to feed their babies, she's grateful she can continue to access Lottie's formula. But she knows the price tag can be a huge barrier. It's really exacerbated the fear of being a parent that has a child with special medical needs. She's turning that fear into action as she advocates for Congress to pass the Bipartisan Medical Nutrition Equity Act. It would expand insurance coverage to pay for medically necessary foods and vitamins. <laughs> She's also sharing Lottie's story to help others understand that breastfeeding or even switching formula brands aren't options for every baby. Access is important and every child should be able to get the food they need to survive. Emily also says she's concerned that the longer the nationwide shortage goes on, the more likely it is that other children could end up switching to Lottie's brand and then her family too could be affected by these supply shortages. In the studio, Rose Schmidt, Fox 9.